Hi everyone, welcome to morning coffee break. I went to the dentist and she basically said she could fix these teeth like this one I checked and this one. She could fix it, but chances are I could do the same thing before the first of the year when I'm having my, after the first of the year, I'm gonna have partials made. And she said it would be better to wait and have them fixed then. Uh, she said she could fix them, but that, uh, like I said, that I could do it again and it would be like just, she, I'd have to have it done again. So I'm just gonna have to be real careful about chewing stuff and then after the first of the year, I'll get my partials. And she said, once I'm not chewing on them front teeth anymore, that, uh, you know, when I get the partials, that she'd be able to fix them and they should be fine after that. So, and one thing, they, they fixed one of them. I and mean, that one girl said something about that she couldn't have it fixed again for two years from the insurance or something. So I don't know. They may not be able to fix one of them for a while. But I don't know what if she was talking about just chipped teeth like mine or or what. I don't, I don't understand what she was talking about on that because I know she like filled one of them and and it, I think it was you know, right in this one and then it was supposed to it, but it broke back off whatever she put on it or another piece broke off. It's a dreary day. It's supposed to rain for the next several days off and on. Well, golly, it looks like a few of these just really kind of survived here. Huh. They don't look dead all the way. But they're not really doing anything either. I guess they're like in hibernation or something. <laughs> and yesterday there was a hawk out here there was a I don't know if it killed a bird or if there was already a dead bird out here it was out here eating on it and then by the time I went back in and got my camera to come out and look and show you uh, it had taken off with the bird so I guess it knew I was out here and it took off Let's see what the garden's looking like I didn't cover it up last night Still there. A few birds singing out here today. Everything looks good. That Russian kale's looking good. Pretty soon we'll have to give us another turnip roast. Just trying to see if that one was underneath the ground. Yeah, they still got a little growing to do, though, before any more will be ready. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, let's see. A little chipmunk. It hadn't been here for several days, so I don't know if something's happened to it or what. I hope it's okay. Let's listen to these birds while they're singing for a bit. I'm going to go get some coffee. I'll be right back.
hadn't been hearing the train at the same times as it was. I heard it last night about midnight. And then I hear it like real early in the morning, sometimes about four in the morning. I don't know if they've changed their schedule or what. Of course, I'm a little late this morning since I had to go to the dentist. Story time. Okay. Inside. Yeah, even though I, I knew they probably, might not be doing much, I, uh, that's the one I think she fixed back there before. But she can't, she said she can't do, I mean, she could fix them, but she said I might break them again before I get my partials, and that she'd be better to wait until after I get my my partials. That makes sense, I guess. So, um, let's see. Let's see what we got on photo time. I made quite a few in this one. This one... This one will be related to today's story. Right there. It's right before we move down here. And I showed this one. I showed that one. That's not really anything right there. I don't know if there's much. Let's see what's left back here. Well, I did this in high school. I don't know how good you can see this. I did that uh, during class. <laughs> what it is, is each little place on here says, I love, I love you. If you look closer, I don't know if you can tell or not. Each little place on here, I wrote, I love you. And this whole thing. And you, <laughs> I wish you could see it better. It's kind of blurry when you, it won't, it won't focus in on it good. I don't know if you can see that to where it says, each little one. <laughs> And then, uh, let's see. This got oddball stuff in here, like a, when I was working, I guess. Joy probably found that in my car laying there or something. That's why I wrote down specials and stuff. Here's one of our dogs, and I drew this picture, and I don't know where it is. I, I drew this one of the dogs. It raised me up the top. And I don't remember this one's name. Uh, it might be Jada. I'm not for sure. But I drew, I by looking at this picture, I drew a picture of that in somewhere. Uh-oh, there we are. Lovebirds. And I don't know if I have many left, so I may have to. Wait, no. Yeah. So I guess that'll be it for the pictures today. I don't have too many of them left, different ones in here. I guess, got my coffee though. Y'all drink your favorite beverage with me. Um, yeah, we had to kind of get up early a little bit, you know, to get ready to go. And then 
we got over there, you know, we always get appointments about 15 minutes early. Because you never know, we might have to fill something out or something or other to slow you down. So we got there, and they weren't even open yet, <laughs> the dentist. <laughs> so we sat there out in the car. At least it has a good heater till, uh, till they open. Okay, today's story time. <laughs> and this one isn't a very long story, I don't guess. But the picture I just showed you is when I was playing for uh, Monroeville Junior High. And uh, I got to be, uh, I was first string, you know, and that doesn't happen in every, every time you uh, are on a team, you know. So you, <clears throat> when you <clears throat> get to start, start the games and play all of it, as long as you're doing good, you definitely want to stay on top of it or somebody would be jump right in your place. Well, we were, this was, it was cold. I mean, we would play with snow on the ground, you know, uh, we didn't think much of it, you know, but it was really cold and stuff. And, uh, I was, uh, I was playing receiver and, uh, they, we didn't throw the ball much and they usually don't in, uh, you know, younger leagues and stuff with the younger people, they don't throw that much. I don't know if they do these days or not. They just didn't pass the ball that much. He mainly just ran it. Um, but uh, the quarterback threw the ball and uh, one from the other team, you know, intercepted it. So I was close by because he was throwing the ball to me, but he threw it way off. And, and then the, the guy that was covering me from the other team caught the ball. So it was my job then to tackle him if I could. So when, you, when you're when you running towards someone and they're running towards you and you're going to tackle them, you're supposed to swing your arms around behind of them and, and like pull in, you know, pull them in towards you. Get over here, honey. And uh, so you wrap them up, it basically is what it's called. You wrap them up. You know, we did all kinds of... Uh, exercises you know and things to to teach us teach us how to do that well i on my left hand is my left one yeah my left uh when i went to uh put my arms you know around to grab the guy his knee i this hand didn't get around him and his knee as he was running towards me his knee hit me right here okay and what happened was, my I felt my hand hit right here. Try to do that. You can't go past like right here without it hurting. I felt my hand hit right here. Okay, it dislocated my wrist and my thumb. This thumb, and they're still they still hurt. They got like arthritis to the to this day. And um, so I uh. You know, I'm sure I was full of adrenaline and stuff, but you know, I was like, they they got it back in, they they got my you know dislocations back in, and I just told him to tape it real heavy, that I'd be fine. Although I was in you know extreme pain, uh, I just didn't want to. I was determined to keep playing that game, you know, and I I didn't know if I was hurt very bad or. Or what but I knew it hurt you know and they got it back in so I thought well you know I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna sit on the bench you know the rest of this game I'm gonna I won't go out there so I kept playing um, I ended up I think I ended up I might have ended up going to the doctor but you know, I didn't go to the emergency room or anything because they got it back in and you know we I don't know if that was a, a doctor there or I can't remember if it was it was somebody saw me and got my the dislocated thumb and wrist back like it's supposed to be, and um, so what happened? Uh, I, I guess my wrist was dislocated. Whatever they they worked on my wrist and I know my thumb was, but uh, but something happened. You know when my hand hit like that, and uh, so. What ended up happening, and I didn't know it, is a cyst started to grow. There's a million bones. If any of y'all have ever seen a, 
x-ray of your wrist, you would be amazed. You'd be totally amazed. There's so many bones, it's unbelievable from here to here. It, it's crazy, little bones and stuff. Um, so it was right, I don't know if you can still see the scar or not. It's kind of indented right there, but you can't really, you can't really see it good anymore. It's, it's right in this area. Uh, there's a cyst grew in there, it's called a ganglion cyst. And it's like fluid filled and it'll get bigger sometimes and smaller. Well, after a while, it just, uh, and when we moved down here, it wasn't really hurting me. I didn't really even know I had it. But when I, when I tried out for the team here, for the football team, I made the team and they had a very rigorous uh, weight program, lifting weights. And um, I, you know, we go down in this, we called it the dungeon, I think. And we'd go down there and lift weights. And, uh, oh, I, I got to where I, I, you know, I squatted 650 pounds. I, bent, I, was, I bench pressed 250. I could do it one time. And I only weighed like 175. So that's, and if you can lift over your weight, that was, you know, what you were shooting for, especially when you bench press. But when I was doing the bench pressing a lot and different exercise, I started noticing my wrist hurting. Well, as time went on, and it got closer to the season, you know, to, to, to the games and stuff, I could tell when I would bend my wrist right here, there would be a knot and it'd be about this far. And it, it got to where I couldn't lift the weights. So I ended up, you know, I talked to the coach about it and I said, I'm gonna have to go see the doctor uh, about this. And, and uh, I, you know, cause I, I showed him, you know, I said, look here, I bent over, showed him, he said, yeah, he said something's in there, a cyst or something. So I ended up going and uh, I ended up having to have it operated on. And um, they would have let me play after I would have, uh, after it healed. And I just decided, you know, that I wasn't going to play after that. And I ended up, uh, I had a, you know, I had a cast on it. It was like a removable cast. They didn't want me to move it, you know, after that. And, uh. But, uh, you know, like I said, they, they called me in and they wanted me to, to, to play. They said they were willing to wait, you know, because uh, they wanted me, you know, they wanted me on the team. I had a pretty good, uh, you know, I'd, I'd done pretty good in, in the other leagues I'd been in and stuff, even when I was little. So, <clears throat> but after having that operated on, you know, I'd met Joy and everything, and I just... I got a job instead. I got my first job at a, at a grocery store. And as a matter of fact, let's see, which was the first one I worked for? It was Food City. <laughs> it's not where it is now, the one we show you now. That's a new store, but it's the one they had years and years ago. I mean, way back then. And uh, it was a big time store at that time that just came in around here and built, built the store that uh, where Ollie's is right now, actually. And uh, so I worked there and I needed, you know, I needed to get me a car, which I showed you the car yesterday I got, that rabbit. I bought it off my dad, I think for 300 bucks. He had, you know, more in it than that, but I just, that's all he charged me. And uh, wanted me some insurance, you know, I got insurance. Uh, I wanted to be able to take Joy out on dates, you know, so that, at that time, that meant a lot more to me than, than football, you know, and I probably, you know, I, the way I get hurt anyway, I probably would have just kept getting hurt. And, but I played other sports after that, softball and stuff. That reminds me of, that reminds me of, uh, uh, another time I got hurt. <laughs> Bad. And it hurts, my, my knee is messed up to this day. Uh, what did I just write that for? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that'll be... I'll write that down for another day. How did I get all the way on that one anyway? Wait a minute. What page was I on that I rushed wrote? 
That's Saturday. Okay, here we are. Where was I? Yeah, so after that, I, I didn't play football anymore. I played mainly uh, just softball and stuff after I got out of high school. And you see me in that uniform for softball. What are you trying to... She's trying to get... Dig into her, a bag of uh, cat food. She's made a hole in it. That's what she's been doing. You stinker. Hey. You got food in there. Kitty. She's something else. So, that's story time today. Another injury that's caused me a lot of pain even now. When it gets cold and stuff, that wrist will hurt. You know, in that thumb area. But my knees are awful when the weather, when it gets colder or it gets warm than cold again and stuff. So, I guess that's it today for morning coffee break. Please press that like button, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. I'll just see how it goes today. I always come up with something. I'll talk to y'all later. God bless.